So I've cut a piece of tape about the length of the interior cylinder of the lens. And then you can also use scissors, obviously, to cut the length beforehand. And then just trial and error it until it's about the right length. Uh, you want to make sure to butt it up um, to the lens pretty well. You could also try to use regular see-through tape, but electrical tape seems to be the better option here. Uh, it's more sturdy, it doesn't bubble up. I've shot in the rain with this and the lens got pretty wet and it held up great. Didn't peel on the edges or anything. Um, and I don't have to worry about it flaking or getting brittle and winding up in the internals. I wasn't ready to ship my lens back to Canon or pay some shop to tighten the lens. Uh, it just seems silly the quality control is this bad. I received this lens used, so who knows how long this has been happening. I've seen other solutions that you wrap bands around this part here um, to keep it from moving, but that just gets in your way when you're trying to shoot. So I think this solution is much more elegant. You can barely see it, uh, especially when it's on the bottom of the lens. Most of the time you'll be looking at the top here. Um, if it's still slipping, you could double up on here as well, or put one on to the two sides or something uh, until you stop getting any creep. This has been bothering me for years and I just happened to think I could do something about it. I was gonna try to glue in here or something but it's definitely a better solution.